you know, this is a unique, unique country. There is no nation on planet Earth that came back to life after 2,000 years of not being in its land. Almost every other Israeli is somehow related to either the Holocaust or to the, the unique and miraculous return of the Jews back to their land. We're in the most violent neighborhood on planet Earth. We're in the most unpredicted neighborhood on planet Earth. We're in the most religious neighborhood on planet Earth. When now we celebrate 70 years, we, we celebrate it and we call it the miracle that is called Israel. It, it is a miracle. My testimony starts with me being born to a Jewish family. I ended up finding myself without a family when my parents got a divorce. I grew up in foster care. At the time, I looked back in my life and it, it, I really saw no hope. I decided that uh, I should put an end to my life. Was about to do it, then I felt that something is telling me that I may have not given the world enough chances. I decided to give the world one last chance. And that week, my friend's family, they're all holding hands, closing their eyes, and the father says, well, let's pray. And and they ended up the prayer with a very interesting thing. They said, B'Shem Yeshua in the name of Jesus. And I was like very, very, very shocked. Because for me, to hear such a thing uh, was hard. Why do you pray in the name of Jesus? Is God not enough? We are Jewish people. We believe in the God of Israel. I was told, why don't you ask God to show you who Jesus is? And I remember I wrote on a piece of paper, God, you know, please show me who Jesus is. The next day I go to work, I put together the newspapers and a big one page size advertising in that newspaper, Yeshua. The name of Jesus in Hebrew and the proper name of Jesus, not the curse. It was the Jesus film of Campus Crusade showing in Jerusalem. It was filmed in Israel, it's a Hebrew language, Israeli actors, and I'm watching all the prophecies that I know being fulfilled before my very eyes. I was amazed. Virgin shall conceive by sin, chapter 7. A, a child will be given unto us. Micah, chapter 5. The story of the New Testament given to the people of Israel. Jeremiah 31, the suffering of the Messiah for the sake of our own sins in Isaiah 53. I mean, it's almost like the, all the pieces of the puzzle came together for me. And I knew then and there that I have to make up my mind. Because I remember, you know, just a few weeks ago, I was about to end my life. And now, I, for the, I know why I'm not done. I remember that night, I literally prayed and I ask him to be not just the Messiah, that it would be my person. I got baptized not far from here, and uh, I joined the Israeli army. I ended up being the deputy governor of Jericho in the Jordan Valley, and I was the official guide of the Israeli government for all the delegations that came to tour the Jericho area and the preparation of the handover of Jericho to the Palestinians. I don't know how many people got to see God in action, protecting their nation during the war, the way I did right here. Today, we see a nation that has the zeal, but not knowledge. They have the zeal, but the knowledge of the Messiah is missing. The good news is that there is hope. Paul says it's the hope of Israel is not the peace process. The hope of Israel is not their government or their military or their land. The hope of Israel is Jesus. You want peace? He's the Prince of Peace. You want a king? He's the King of Kings. 
You want a shepherd? He's a great shepherd. Jesus is the only hope of Israel. The only hope for the Jewish people. 